Hi everyone, welcome. I'm glad you're back here again. In this video, I unbox and quickly test this device. The Glitter 801D Spot Welder is an advanced battery welding machine designed for precision welding of various metals, such as nickel, steel, copper, molybdenum, and titanium. The device utilizes capacitor energy storage and pulse welding technology, ensuring uniform and clean weld points, avoiding blackening. Key features include high power. It delivers a peak output of 14.5 kilowatts, making it ideal for welding large batteries, such as 186050 cells. Two welding modes, automatic AT mode for longer welding sessions and manual MT mode, which uses a foot pedal for fine adjustments. Super capacitors. Long lasting capacitors ensure continuous operation and proper energy storage. LED display, real time current display during welding with adjustable energy levels based on the thickness of the material. Its applications include welding lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, NiMH, and lithium polymer batteries, as well as assembling batteries for small electronic devices. The device's compact design and aluminum casing provide excellent heat dissipation. I was surprised by how many accessories come with it. Personally, I don't like it because I'll put half of them away, and when I need them, I won't be able to find them. My first impression is that the device is of much higher quality than I expected. Its craftsmanship is excellent, and it has a nice, hefty weight. I hope its performance will be just as satisfying. The power connector also surprised me as it's a small 15 volt, two to three amp power supply. Because of this, it takes a while for the device to become operational after the first power up. The charging process is quite lengthy. Connecting it is very simple. It's practically foolproof. A short press of the button turns on the device and it begins charging. During this time, you can adjust the welding power to the desired level. In this video, I'll only be testing the handheld welder, which is also easy to connect. The quality is noticeable here as well. The connector is robust, large, and fits securely into its socket. The box includes a stand that allows you to use the device upright if needed. For the test, I'm building a 9-cell battery pack wired in a 12-volt configuration, meaning 3 series and 3 parallel cells, 3 S3P setup. Now let's see what the device can do. To be honest, I had to spend some time adjusting the settings to get it to weld properly, but once I found the right setup, it was very easy to use.
Oh, there's something seriously wrong here. It's almost impossible for these cells to have this much voltage without an incident occurring. I think my meter is incorrectly calibrated. A fully charged cell should have a maximum voltage of 4.2 volts. Overall, I have to say this device works as it should. So far, I haven't encountered any major issues. The initial startup could be quicker, but it's manageable. The welded connections are strong and look clean. In the next video, I'll assemble the battery pack and test it out. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.